you know, Congress hasn't changed immigration law in many, many years in any substantial way. There have been both Democrats and Republicans that have you know, voted for border security measures uh, for necessary detention uh, uh, of folks that, that, that arrive illegally in the United States. The crisis that we have uh, now at our border, which wasn't a crisis and now even the New York Times has, has labeled it a crisis, you know, is really a question of volume. We can have a compassionate immigration policy system. Um, we can recognize that people want to come here for opportunity or to flee uh, a worse situation, but we have to recognize and, uh, and support the rule of law. We have to recognize that we have to prioritize those who are here already in this country, whether naturalized citizens, uh, American-born citizens, and those who've done it the right way. And so uh, we can't just paint all immigrants with, a, with a, a broad brush and say, you know, they're all the same. No, we're not. I'm a big believer in private-public partnerships uh, in using the private sector because the private sector normally provides better services than the public sector. So if you're going to have detention centers rather than sending people to a publicly run jail, I'd rather have them go to a facility run by a private corporation that offers uh, services in an efficient way. Uh, services that are not even provided in their home country, medical services. And I can certainly tell you from my perspective now, um, you know, we have the highest standards, bar none, for at immigration detention facilities. Um, you know, in terms of you know what, what the agency spends, what the industry uh, supports, um, it would make any American, or it should make any American, proud at how we treat other people.